In this video, I'd like to explain what a salt bridge is in, in an electrochemical cell and why it is necessary to have one. An electrochemical cell can be thought of as a battery. Batteries that supply electrical current or electricity to electrical devices such as a cell phone. So let's first start off with some fundamentals about electrical circuits. Here's a crude sketch showing a battery supplying electrical current to a cell phone. The power button on your cell phone can be represented by this arrow, which is a switch. When your cell phone is off, electrical current does not flow through the cell phone. When you press the power button, this switch closes and electrical current flows through your cell phone. In order for electrical current to flow through any electrical device, the circuit must be complete. In other words, the electricity needs to flow from one end of the power supply back to the other end. If any point along that path, if there's an open, electrical current will not flow. Therefore, when you power down your cell phone, you essentially open the circuit. A salt bridge essentially acts as a power button. With the salt bridge in place, it essentially completes the circuit and closes the switch. Here, the zinc-copper electrochemical cell can be thought of as a battery supplying electrical power to illuminate the light bulb. The salt bridge acts as a switch. If the salt bridge is not in place, electrical current will not flow, therefore the light bulb will not be illuminated, and the redox reaction ceases. What exactly happens at the molecular level is as follows. In the electrochemical cell on the left, the anode, where oxidation occurs, as the zinc metal oxidizes and produces zinc ions, there's an increase in positive charge accumulating. On the other hand, reduction occurs in the cell on the right side, which is the cathode. Here, copper ions in solution are going to be reduced and plated onto the copper cathode. Because of that, there's going to be a relative increase in negative charge. Although the sulfate ion concentration does not change, the copper ion charge is being converted to zero through the reduction. So therefore, there's going to be a loss in positive charge in the cathode cell. In order for current to continue to flow in an electrochemical cell, electroneutrality must be maintained. There should not be an excess of positive or negative charge in either one of the half cells. As soon as there is an instance of imbalance of charge or excess of positive charge in the anode, for example, or negative charge in the cathode, for example, electrical current ceases to flow. Having a salt bridge in place balances the electrical charge in each half cell. In a salt bridge, there is a supply of anions and cations. The cations are naturally attracted to the cathode, where there is a depletion of positive charge, and the anions naturally flow towards the anode, where there is a depletion of negative charge. This continuous movement of anion and cation into these half cells keeps the charge balanced in each half cell, therefore allowing electrical current to flow. Electrical current will cease when either the ions in the salt bridge are depleted or when the redox reaction has reached equilibrium. 